Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some Mount Weather and still watching this powerhouse storm system due in here 1210 to 1213 across the west. So storm one right now is is washing out as it's moving into the interior, the inner mountain west. Um, it'll spread some light additional snow, but then the second storm, the big boy, is going to take most of the energy. It's going to be fully organized with the jet stream, uh, and you ought to see how it's ejected. I'll show you that coming out. It's going to be colder, a lot of jet stream support, and there's going to be a moderate, a weak to moderate atmospheric river set up for California and the high Sierra. But everybody in the interior will benefit from that extra uh, moisture allotment as it comes in. And then on the backside, as the big storm moves out of Wyoming, Colorado, on the backside, there's going to be a clipper that comes down really fast and delivers another potentially one to three, one to four inches of snow. Um, It'll just slide right down the jet into the cold air. So let me just show you what it looks like right now. Um, so water vapor satellite oranges and reds represent a drier air aloft. Uh, but you can see the lows lined up. The tiny little low right now moving through. Um, and that's the one washing out through Idaho, Wyoming, Montana. The, big, uh, the second low is the big one. Um, that'll drop the jet. And then there's another low behind that, potentially. Um, we'll see where that ends up. But that may, that may go north. Um, so that's the way things look on infrared. I wrote about it this morning on my blog, ChrisTomer.com, and there are going to be big totals with this next storm system. Um, a couple of uh, little bullet points there. I talked about the setup, and then I went into the jet stream. And I want to show you this for sure. We'll take it full here. So this is 1210. So tomorrow, big storm dropping in the trough. The whole thing's digging south. And that's a powerful setup for, for uh, California Sierra. So it's going to draw moisture. It's good ore graphics. It's got colder air. Even though the snow levels are going to they're going to um, they're going to go up to like four or five thousand feet, maybe six thousand feet. They're going to drop back down as the colder air comes in. So there's an initial warm surge, but then everything, uh, then the cold air wins out in the end. But that's the the low on 1210. Um, so here is 1212. And look at that jet stream. Isn't that something? Um, big trough. And, and it's just absolutely ejecting that low out of Wyoming and Colorado. Um, it's impressive. It's an pre impressive jet uh, flow on that with the, it riding that jet streak out of town. Um, so that's 1212. Let's look at, uh, let's look even further down the road. So this is 1218. Most of the West is going to be dry with this type of pattern. There's a couple of, of low pressures just sort of meandering. They're kind of lost in the Pacific as the flow is split and kind of odd. Um, but they're meandering at that point. But uh, that's, a, that's a drier period right there, 1218. My guess is that um, the East Coast would be active. East Coast of the United States would be active during this period. Um, so let's go back to the blog here and let's talk about timing with this. Future. This is the forecast radar and satellite. All right, so Saturday at 6, here comes the big boy hitting California through Sunday at 6, and then it moves into the interior, heavy snow, Wyoming, Utah, into parts of Colorado. There's Tuesday at 6, and then the big low moves out, and there's your view by Wednesday at 8.45 p.m. at night. Um, things starting to dry out. It's, it's like behind this um, oh, I should point that out. Here comes the clipper. Um, you can see the clipper um, up there coming out of Banff, coming out of uh, BC. That's going to race down through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado with light additional accumulations. Once that moves out, then the, the rest of the west will dry out, um, and, and that'll probably do it for a, a while. Um, let me run that out just one more time. So you can kind of see the pattern again. So there's Saturday at 6. There is Sunday at 6. And here comes the storm pulling out into the Intermountain West Monday. Uh, Tuesday morning right there. Um, there's Tuesday, uh, Wednesday morning, and then Wednesday night. And then on the back side, here comes that clipper. All right, so we talked about timing. Let's go into the, uh, the totals here. I did it in two phases. So all of today through the 13th. So this gets us through pretty much all of this big storm system. California, 40 to 60 inches um, total. Mammoth getting the most. Um, that's, a, that's a big total. Even with the swing in the snow level, I think Mammoth, obviously, you're just you're sitting so much higher. 
um, you should be better off. Um, and in the Pacific Northwest, you've got about a um, one to two feet coming. And Idaho looks really good. Look at Sun Valley. I've got 16 on the board for Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. You may have to ratchet that up just a little bit. Uh, 18 to 20 through the Wasatch. I debated on that. I thought, ah, I think Little Cottonwood might be able to squeeze out 20 or more. So might have to nudge those numbers up a little bit, but that's where I'm at right now. In Colorado, um, 4 to 12, roughly, with the big storm. You can see the numbers. Um, let me take you into the second period. So the clipper drops in in the second period, and you can see it riding the northwest flow here on 12.14 to 12.18. It brings another 1 to 3, 1 to 4, maybe a 5-inch amount. Uh, that includes Banff, Marmot Basin, Sunshine, Revelstoke, Red Mountain. Drops through Schweitzer, and then down through Bridger Bowl and Big Sky, across the Tetons, and then it drops into uh, Colorado, and the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So, um, and some of those numbers in Colorado are, are, are residual on the backside on 1214 as the big low is pulling away. So it's kind of a combination of the backside of the big low and that clipper in Colorado. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, we're looking really good. It's going to be very interesting to see how this big low, um, basically, it's inbound in, in California. I want to see how it engages the Sierra, um, what the ore graphics end up looking like, how the swing in the in the snow levels look like. I, I want to see all of that. That's going to be fascinating with that uh, that type of jet support. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it.